It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to the Sunday live stream. How is everyone? What are you drinking on? See, the chat's going pretty well. Yeah, all that jazz. Thanks, guys. We're uh, <clears throat> we're gonna do our um, advent calendar top of show. That's right. We will do that top of the show, uh, and then we'll get into our 2019 bookers lineup. So we will put a pinned comment down below after the show with the timestamps of all the bookers and as well as the advent calendar. So you can just jump right around if you are watching on the replay. If not, you're stuck with us. <laughs> if you want to see it, you stuck. You stuck. Sorry, Sorry. about that. Sorry about that. All well, right. This is an interesting week because no sample shout out to know what's news. It's been a... Actually, we got a lot done this week, so it's been a relatively we, yeah. quiet but very productive week. Yes, um, yes, indeed. So no complaints. Yeah, no, no complaints. complaints. No we got complaints. our gift guide out there. That was awesome. <sighs> Man, nice yeah. work, Chad. Thank you. What a bear of an episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Thanks, a bear. Monica. You're so nice. I think um, people are just kind of. Oh, that one stuck. Like lethargic from all the turkey, and you know, and and personally, Sarah, I'm glad to have thanksgiving behind us you know i love thanksgiving i know you do too i do it's your favorite holiday it's true but um i think do you want the well here i'll just i'll even it out i think you got a hair i think you know we had a friends giving we, we had, had your families my my families it was a lot of thanksgiving there was a lot of Thanksgiving. all the leftovers are gone the tree is up the tree's up um, We're doing advent calendar episodes. We did our gift guide. Yeah. I'm in full Christmas mode. Yes. Yes. Christmas and, mode. <laughs> and here we are on day eight <clears throat> already. It's our second Sunday of the advent calendar. Um, yes, it is. Before we get into that, uh, a couple of people are, <laughs> well, Glenn said, hey, Chad, nice ring. Thanks, Glenn and Kathy for noticing. Uh, he may have forgotten to wear it in an episode or two. That's fine. I think all the comments have shamed him back into wearing it. Um, you know, when I'm at home, if I leave the house, I always make sure to, to put it on, but I don't wear watches. I don't. He doesn't wear things. Besides this, I've never worn a ring. Yeah. So it's an adjustment period. And so then I think someone said, did Just, I get one like it? Uh, actually, yeah, this is a rubber ring. I do use this when I work out, but... When I was out Black Friday shopping, I was like, I'll just swing by and get my ring cleaned and checked for the warranty and whatever. And they were like, well, your stone's loose, so we got to <laughs> keep it and ship it off. And I was like, oh, oh okay, uh, what do you do? Like, she showed me and it was like jiggling around. I was See? like, that's not good. <laughs> um, so yeah, so for now, Chad and I match, except for mine's purple. So that's yeah. pretty cool, but yeah. whatever. Hey, Jay, <sighs> cheers from Iowa. Drinking some strand hands, strand hands, strand hands, strand hands. Strand hands. It's not. Strand hands. It's not Michael Stranahan. That must be what I'm thinking of. That smells like a cinnamon bun. Cinnamon it's, rolls. It's doughy. It's doughy. It's doughy. Um, Donald says he never wears his wedding ring, so you shouldn't feel bad. There you go. Personally, I don't care. The only reason I. Notice it is just so I can give Chad a hard time. Like that's the name like of the game. Like you don't have enough ammo to give me a hard time without. Let's be honest, Chad. That's kind of our it. thing with each other. People are like, yeah. "Why are they so mad at each other?" I'm like, <laughs> "We are literally just always giving each other a hard time." Yeah, it's out. It's one of our love languages, right? <laughs> <laughs> giving each other a hard Talk time. Talking smack. That's one of the love languages. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just smells like cinnamon rolls to me, like cinnamon roll dough. Or like a a crust. That is a pie crust that's just started to bake. Yeah. And also there's cinnamon. Hmm. There's a little more barrel on that than I would have guessed. It's a little dry. It's a tad dry. I need another sip. I just ate dinner, so I'm like, I don't trust my first. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it's, Pass. um, uh, it's kind of a dried nuttiness. It does have a little bit of a dried yeah. nuttiness. I wonder if it's like an old granddad product. That might kind of be the first, mm. first thing, but not 114, maybe not even bonded because it doesn't really taste a hundred proof. It, it, it's it a tastes like warm. it could be between a hundred or 90 and a hundred, um, Oh, there's your favorite last name to pronounce. <laughs> Alex Puffenberger. Alex Puffenberger. 
Thank I'm you. like, do you super chat just so I can have a good time saying your last name? Because if so, thank you. Yes. <laughs> That's so thoughtful. And another great reason to let us have a second sip here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's got like a... It's got a tea note to it. It does have a tea note. It has like a green wood note to it. Green tea. It's not Green the, wood tea. It's not the cinnamon roll that I was hoping to get. Because it smelled really good. Mm. It smelled like cinnamon rolls. I'm not saying that it doesn't taste good. It does. It's just different than what I was expecting. Um, <coughs> Jay Carter Pate says, love the show. Little book, Road Home Night. Ooh. Ah, the Road Home. The Road Home. That's chapter three. Oh, I missed that word, didn't I? You did. Well, I'm just terrible. You just said little book wrote home. Like, it wrote home with you? Little book wrote home. Cool. You know. That's that's Freddie No. Freddie No read home, wrote home with you. That's cool. Do you guys have any guesses as to what this is? Because I know some people have been commenting on the advent videos and being like, it's one person's based like, on, called it again. They're like, based on called your tasting notes and nose notes, I guessed this and it was right. Um, so I'm curious if anybody's got any guesses. I guess that means our nose and tasting notes are either right or they've just been paying attention to how we describe things maybe i don't know which one it is i don't know yeah hmm i don't have any guess I, as to what this is this it's, is it's it's a, it's a little dry but there is some faint nuttiness to it i don't feel like it's any higher than 100 proof i would even i'm gonna give a broader range than i normally do because i could see this as being an 86 proofer uh let's see uh nick says he guesses it's repeal batch carl says that's a good guess. I'm late. What are we drinking? We are drinking day eight of our advent calendar. It's blind, so we don't know. We're it's a new about whiskey called out. Day Eight, and it's only sold in two ounce sample bottles. Um, it's pretty cool. Kilco guesses that it's whiskey. That's fair. Okay. Um, I think that's Brian okay. Brian guesses that it's Old Grandad, Knob Creek Quarter Cask. Oh, that's uh, it. Oh, Jay, what a head scratcher. That mm, could. Okay. Be. It could be. I could see it. Uh, Mike says the bullet episode was a spot on description. Spoilers! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you haven't been keeping up with it, then yes, one, was, of, uh, one of the days was bullet. That was just yesterday, wasn't it? Every day uh, feels like a million years ago. They run into I think each you're other. right. It was yesterday. Yeah. They run into each other. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Where am I? Yesterday was Saturday, right? I'm going to be Sarah Sunday. with an H, but who am I? <laughs> well, who am I? Yeah. Where? Why are there... Douglas guesses Michter's. Why are there TV lights on in here? Hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm more now that it's 90 proof or like 86 to 90 yeah, proof. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, 80, 90 tops. And... I think that repeal batch a is a really good That's guess. That's a good guess. That is a really good guess. Um... I could I could totally see that. Yeah. Let's find out. Let's find out. All right. It's a, oh wait, it's back there. Yep. Oh geez, how are you gonna do this? Like this. Ah, ah. Don't lose any bows. <laughs> no bows. We're harmed. Bows over bros. <laughs> Bo, bows over bros. Bo, get get uh, woke or go broke. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. All right. Justin, I see that super chat. Woo! I'll be with you as soon as we unveil what this is. All right. Day eight of our blind advent calendar is hard to get out. We're going to take a break after that. I can't see. I always have to wait. It's Heaven Hill Bottled in Bond. No So way. it's 100 proof. This has got to be the new. Uh, this has got to be the seven year. See, we got to find out. We got to find out. It's got to be the seven year. It doesn't taste like... I'm going to put a text out and I'm going to try to find out. Okay, let's do it. And okay. while you put out that text, I will pull our first bookers of the night. This is... We're doing 2019, all four of them. Uh, so obviously we'll start with batch one, which is Teresa's batch. Uh, this is 125.9 proof, age six years, three months, and one left? day. I do have a little bit left. Let's do the But like let's a do little Justin's. drop. Okay. Justin. Cheers from Tennessee. Long time watcher. First time being able to catch the live stream. Big f live stream live. That there means he's go. got the yes. replay. <laughs> Big fan. Thanks, Justin. Justin, thank you so much. And that also deserves you know a what? triangle. It does deserve a triangle. First time live. <laughs> thank you. And a little sparkle in my eye. Did you see it when she hit the thing? It was a little ding. That was for you. Oh, geez. 
<clears throat> okay. All right. uh, oh yeah. Let me. Let you me do the text, text. I'll pour this. So, who has had the Teresa's batch? How are you feeling about 2019 bookers? Do you have a favorite? Um, I actually haven't visited this bottle in a while. When we first had it, my reaction, and I think Chad felt the same, was that um, it was good. It just, ooh, that might be too much. Well, oh well, we'll have fun. Um, was that it was good, but it didn't feel like a Booker's. Um, so I don't know. It's had some chance to open up. It's not that low. Uh, so we'll see if any time has changed it and okay. how we're feeling. We'll see. I'm just going to go. Boop. We'll see if that. I gave you just a little bit more than me, but you know. <laughs> it's all right. That's just the way it goes. Jeff Wimbush. Jeff says, I have to break the law to ship alcohol from Arizona to Ohio. That stinks. Or this stinks. Suggestions. Drive it. Yes. Of course, <laughs> you must appreciate the fact that we are... On the internet and being recorded on YouTube so we of course say obey the law and just don't do it obey the law just obey it just be a good upstanding citizen and always obey the law say no to drugs say no to drugs stay in school uh, salute your shorts yeah was a TV show but as far as driving it, or another method of people transportation, people in the chat are the not chat can, can on, that for you. are not being videotaped right now. So uh, please, uh, that was Jeff's question. Uh, um, please let Jeff please somebody who know. has run into this issue also, maybe let Jeff know what you did to make it. I a, mean, not the drive. I'm sure it's agreeing with us. Obey the law. Of course it is. Where's that cowbell though? Unless they can, you know, like teleport it or something. You know, I don't know what people do. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, this, you said you gave the bona fides. Maybe I just want cinnamon rolls because I feel like this one smells like one too. Ooh, okay. but it tastes like one also. We're gonna have to get some cinnamon rolls. I did give the, I did give all the info. 125.9 proof? Yep, I said that and I okay. said the age. Okay, cool. Well. <laughs> You can repeat it. I was texting. If you want. You were texting and not listening. Yeah. And definitely not driving, which we also don't condone. No, of course not. Um, so this is the one that had kind of um, this mystique around it of when it, when it first came out of like, oh, Booker's made a misstep. Like, this is like acetone or something. I remember <gasps> someone saying like it was just really offensive. Um, and maybe it just requires some time to open up. We've had this one open since probably February, yeah. March. So I will say it's still got an aggressive burn at the end. You think so? I do, but I like the flavors a lot better now than I did when we uh, first opened it. So I do think that this one benefits for some time and some space. Um, it just need, it needs a break. You it guys need to space. go on a break. It needs its space. Like a couple of months, it'll then be you in can its get room. back together. Yeah. No, you gotta go. It's a couple month break. I said it'll be in its room. Oh, well. And you. It doesn't live here anymore. You, it's yeah, moved out. You, no, you have to move out. It'll be in its room. Why do I have to move out? I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> Chad's okay. like, damn it. A trap. <laughs> a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> um, it's very barrel it's very it's very oaky it it's is even hot. a tad dry maybe that's left over from the heaven hill um i don't know it's hot it's a different type of nutty than normally it's not it's not creamy like smooth like peanut butter no. at all it's more just like a really dry peanut yeah it just has a at i mean the end it's that's... not it is in no way shape or form bad i do enjoy this one like I, don't, I, said, I don't think it's going to be my favorite. I don't think it's going to be my favorite, but I, my opinion of it has improved since we had it at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to leave this little bit, actually, in my glass. Yeah, same. YW's got an interesting question. How does Booker's have more flavor than Knob Creek being younger? Well, that just goes to show you the age is definitely not everything. Booker's, you know, um, back when Booker Noe himself was picking the barrels, he was picking the honey barrels. He liked to... Uh, do a cross section, do an X on a, on a, if you're looking at a warehouse, do an X. Now go to the middle, X marks a spot, right? That center cut, in fact, in 2015, there was a release called center cut. It was kind of paying homage to that. 
you pick the honey barrels that could be younger, but they've been in the right spot for the right amount of and time, they, and they have the right, just you know, the right maturation, the the right. The uh, je ne sais quoi. That je ne sais quoi. Um, so yeah, it, it's younger than a nine-year-old uh, Knob Creek, which is also delicious. It just has different features. Like but I that, think being in the barrel for longer does different yeah. things to it. So and you know, I don't know this at all, but that all those. Knob Creek barrels could have come from the first floor of the warehouse for nine years. Right. They're... Pro probably not, but... Like, we don't know. know. Just, um, you, you know, you think of you, you get a 23-year-old Pappy Van Winkle. That's probably spent 23 years on the first floor of a warehouse, right? Because if it's spent much time, any time higher, and I don't think they rotate barrels over there at uh, Buffalo Trace, um, there's going to be nothing left in the barrel. Mm. Especially if it was on... Like when we had the uh, William Heaven Hill, it spent... What was it? Nine, I thought, or was it ten or twelve? Was it ten or twelve? I don't 11 remember. Eleven years. Somewhere on between nine and twelve. The this the the tenth, ninth, or tenth floor of the warehouse for all those years. I thought, yeah, I think it was something like and that. And that's why it got to one hundred thirty-four point four proof. Like the its age, its location. You know, there's other and just as just as profile. So you know. Uh, Ryan, we see your super chat. Let us get some Booker's 2019-02 in our glass. Two? And this one is the Shiny Barrel Batch. Shiny Barrel. See, ah, you know. Ah, this, Sarah, this rolls perfectly into some more education. The Shiny Barrel. So what this refers to, and I think this story, I want to say maybe, maybe it came from Eddie Russell. Okay, well, right, I want to hear the story because you know I love a good story. Good story. Wait, Eddie Russell told the story about Booker's no, shiny? No, not Booker's, but a, how Oh, well, how barrels, a barrels get, get shiny. shiny. Yeah. Okay, Ryan says, been loving the blind advent calendar this year. Ah, Thank you. Thanks. We've been having a lot of fun doing it. I definitely like the blind aspect of it. it it's mm -hmm. helped change it up from what we've done in the past. Um, Tell us about Shiny Barrel. Shiny Barrel. So, it says if you go into a warehouse, those barrels, most of them have been there for years and years. They've got the dust, they've got the funk, they've got the cobwebs on there, right? You see a shiny barrel, that means someone's been tapping into that barrel because most guys- That barrel's hot. They might have a little bit more of a belly on them. So they belly up to it, they're reaching in, they're getting it, it gets shiny. It basically gets polished, right? So that's the shiny barrel. Mm. That's how you know- Bellies be shining these barrels. Bellies be shining. Belly shined barrel. Be that should have been the name. Come on. So that's how you know that that is a cherry barrel because people have been, They've been tapping into that one. Yeah. Been shining it up. Shining uh, it up. I, deviate? 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 Oh, deviate. Deviate. Sorry, but spelled different. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Love your videos. Drink more bookers and ah, have a great holiday. Same thank to you. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry, Chad. I took it away, and then, and then I was like, "You over? Wait, we did a thing." Ugh. Um, someone had said they like this one, but it's a little bit grainy for them, and that. And I'm sorry, I lost your name in the in the chat. Um, that it's a little bit grainy, and for that reason, it's not not the favorite. So this one's 124 proof on the dot. It's Just a little less than the one. Six years, five months, and a day. That's around about what the other one was. Hmm. Um, the thing about this one. I would, it, it gives off sort of the taste of like how a younger whiskey deals with heat or proof, you know? Yeah. Like it's really intense. Like, you know, when you get just an amazing like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or George C. Stagg or even Stagg Jr. or anything, you know, that uh, William Heaven Hill, mm -hmm. it's really, really high proof, like over 130, but you're like, man, this drink's like a dream. It's not killing me at all it's, it's just everything's so, where it's supposed to be so, yeah so balanced it's so smooth for such a high proof this one doesn't give off those vibes it's more like i'm a fighter not a lover yeah <laughs> you know so it was sterling that said uh that this gives off more grain and i you know i hadn't thought about it yeah. that way before but Gr i do have to agree it, grain. it's giving some more grain saying it was more yeah like younger profile um yeah absolutely hmm Todd Cooper says, it's a spicy meatball. It is a spicy meatball, yeah. That was my best version of that. It's not going to get any better, and I'm sure it was horrible. So, <laughs> my apologies. Yeah, I um, think the two is more, you know, if there's an off-profile bookers, I think it's I think more off-profile off. than the one. Agreed. And that's why when we got the second one and we'd had... 
the neck pour of one. We had the neck pour of two. We're, we're like, man, what's going on? Booker's 2019 just not. We're like what? Not hitting home. No. We got a little, a little, uh, you know, manic depressive. I mean, because Booker's is, I mean, kind of like my obsession. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Real quick, uh, Greg says, love your videos, new to bourbon, been buying from watching you. Oh, well, we're so glad to hear that. Hopefully we've steered you in the right direction. Um, if not, it's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Jason Ballou says, with Christmas coming up, what would be your number one go-to bottle, go-to bourbon for a special night? <sighs> Attainable? Well, let's see, how much time do we have left on the show? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, give or take 45 minutes. It'll take that long to... Just to talk about it. To talk through it. Um, yeah, you get the whole attainable or not. You get... You know, honestly, I think... you you if, if you have, like, a community, you get on the horn, and you're like, hey, has anyone had a really solid, like, Knob Creek pick? Mm -hmm. Or Russell's pick? Or, or yeah. something that's just, you know, blowing your hair back? I think that'd be the way to go. And you go get one of those. Because those can really be some diamonds in the rough. And I think that would be a better bet than like trying to track down a B tack or But honestly, like if I was gonna track down anything this year, I don't know. I'm really loving the Parker's Heritage uh Ooh, Heavy Char. Heavy Char, Rye, and the William Heaven Hill. Like yeah. I I'm Heaven Hill girl, so you got you know, and I haven't had this year's William. Oh, Hed I thought I was wearing my er, Heaven Hill shirt. I've I haven't had this year's William Larue Weller because normally, like, that's my. Oh. Mm, but I haven't had it, so I can't say. Yeah. But I have been hearts for eyes for those two, <laughs> and like again, if you can track them down and you want to pay whatever it costs to track them down, because the William Heaven Hill is uh, what almost three hundred to two sixty. To eighty aftermarket At retail. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. You say William Heaven Hill. William Heaven Hill. Ah, two eighty. Yes. Uh, and I, the Parkers I is one fifty. Still hearing WLW. Sorry. Parkers is one fifty. One fifty. One seventy. Something like that. Um, so if you want to pay that, you know, secondary, whatever, char upcharge price for that, like yeah. that's that's up to you. But like on the shelf, I'm, I'm gonna go with you. Something that's special and unique, and that you can get a great flavor off of. I've got it. He's got it. No, I've got it. It didn't even take the rest of the show. Tell us. If you want something that is like legitimately, <clears throat> air quotes, special, as far as like this comes out once a year and there's not that many bottles of it and, and some people are chasing it that you can probably find because I still see them sitting around on shelves here is the Wild Turkey Master's Keep uh, Cornerstone Rye. Ooh. Now it's 175 retail. And I do probably like the Heaven Hill, um, the Parker's Heritage Heavy Char Rye a little bit better, but yeah. you, you're not gonna more than likely find that. You're not, yeah. So if you so want if you something, want something you can in find, a really nice box that is good, but it's not a bourbon. So it's caveat. not a bourbon caveat, but from a bourbon company, which is where the best rides come from. I feel like, in and our we opinion, it's it tasty. It would be that. Yeah. So there you go. Hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wildlife and Whiskey says, well, first of all, thanks for the super chat. Hey, hey, hey. Found an old bottle I thought was from 07. Turns out from 01. Mm. Um, only bookers I have and a little older than I was expecting. Thumbs up. Cheers, y'all. Um, awesome. So it's got that old label on it. Yeah, the, the no Ooh, name. from 01. Would, that would still be um, Booker No, right? Uh, or was it the or late 90s? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think I don't think 01. Jeez, I was uh, only like 10 years old, so... <laughs> I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. I um, was just starting to drink. Yes. Um, yeah. Creepy. I don't. Gross. Let's never talk about it that's that way again. Let's, let's never bring that up again. Nope. I'm um, done. <laughs> I've had enough. Yeah. I don't. I, I think. I think. I don't remember the year that, that Booker No died, but I feel like he'd already passed it on to Fred. By that point. At, by that point. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Kilko says, "You two want to try Cast Strength Lefroig today?" Oh. Today is not that day. Today's probably not that day. It's not that day. <laughs> but thank I'm you, I'm going to enjoy Kilko. all this. Oh, that was a light. It was a light one. Well, okay. okay. We'll give you a ringing endorsement. Um, go over to Kilko's uh, YouTube channel. He's he's started one up. Check him out. Drinking drinking some whiskeys. So there you go. For not filling your bourbon and rye. Well, we are doing that. But also, mm -hmm. the other whiskeys. We don't, we don't cover so much of that. There's lots of great channels out there that do that. Just not our jam. Just not our jam. We'll try it every once in a while, though. Yeah. Not opposed to revisiting. Mm -mm. So 
So two, I mean, the more I sit with two, like the more here's the thing I'm about like, yes, I'm drinking a Booker's, and I kind of forget about how much better some of the other Booker's taste. So I'm kind of like, I'm fine. I'm fine with it, right? Yeah. Like it tastes good. Let's just take the. I think the problem is the fact that it lives under the Booker's umbrella is why we're like me. Like it's a good product. It tastes delicious. The proof is nice. The finish is nice. Like. I don't have anything against it. It just doesn't feel like a true Booker's to me. Right. It wasn't, I don't know, you know, I have that annual like Booker's itch and I'm like, God, we get a, um, and the, the first two just weren't doing it for me. And then um, that just feeds into our theory that the third and the fourth are always which better Which we've got releases. that theory, yes. yes. Ugh. I don't know if that's true or not. And I think it's been true for the past three years. Well, it has been, but then what, at what point does it just become true in our minds and not like actual fact? That's why we need to do these blind. Right. That's why we love to do these blind. Um, yeah. Anyways. Ha. Uh, okay. Well, on to the next then? Yeah, let's do it. I can't. I'm trying to skim. I, I do my best, but I have a hard time. Especially the more that we drink these. And I get the hands going. <laughs> uh, Whiskey Crusaders. <laughs> Matt, who is the only, I'm pretty sure the only person that I trust with scotch for us. He said, don't worry, I will never send you a scotch you hate. <laughs> and to this day, he has not. That rings and true. And some people are like, <laughs> we're going to send him a Ard bag that we know is going to make them go. Yeah, band just to see us do that. Right. Um, I mean, and I feel like that's like, and I've said, used this metaphor before, but like when, if my mom was like, you know what, I've never had sushi, hates seafood, and it's like, you know, but I, I want to try it for the first time. Like I'm willing to to dip a toe in and and give it a shot. I'm not going to be like, you know what, I'm going to give you some salmon sashimi. <laughs> I'm going to give you just a piece of tuna. No, you give them a California roll, right? Like that's, and then you graduate from there. Or Philly. Right. I feel like that's how it works best for most people. You, you've got to ease into it. And Matt gets that. Matt's cool about it. Um, not that we're opposed to trying new things. We are not. It hey, just. I we, will say the Scotch Test Dummies. Uh, oh, that's true. Very early on sent us a big box of Scotch and... I think that we're thoughtful about it. If we revisit it now, I think we would even things would set even better with us today because we are more acclimated to scotch now than we were I had when a, they originally sent that I box. I just had an idea for an episode. Okay. New year, new whiskey. And we just try <laughs> things we haven't tried that are out of our norm. Okay. I'd be I'd be down for that. I think you guys are probably behind that too, right? New year, new you, new booze. <laughs> <laughs> new biz. All right. Well, thanks, Matt. And also, oh, someone said Sarah with an H is awesome. So I, I see that you see that I'm have arrived. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Vin says, love you guys, love your channel. Drinking a local rye, the last of my 2018 Midwinter's Night Dram. Perfect for this time of year. I just have to say, uh, love this time of year. Love it this time well, of year. We agree. Yeah. Completely. Uh, it's like Chad gives it Christmas even Christmas Day. But that's kind of how I used to feel about Christmas music. I was like, I'll give you Christmas, even Christmas Day, but otherwise keep it out of my ears. Right. The older I get, the more, I guess, sentimental I get. And the more I'm like, Bleh. okay with it, like the two or three weeks leading up to. Whatever. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, Philip says, oh, well, I have to sip. Mm. Booker's Country Ham. Go he ahead says, and say what Philip says. Thanks to you, I've fallen in capital L-O-V-E in love with Pikesville rye. Hands down mm. my favorite pour for any occasion. Oh, that makes me feel so good. I love Pikesville rye. Yes. It makes me so happy. Yes. Like something that's decently priced. It's a little bit out of your everyday price range. Mm -hmm. It may be more than a little, um, but it is so solid. You're getting a good higher proof pour. It's delicious. It's dependable. It's on the shelf. Yeah. Please don't let them take it away, ever. <laughs> but I don't foresee that happening, so yeah. There Pikesville is. Love it. Yeah. Speaking of love, now this is uh, Booker's Country Ham. This is 124.7 proof. Yeah, it is. So a little bit lower. 
Um, this one is 124 on the dot. Okay, so it's a just a hair higher, but not as high as uh, the 01. 01. It's six years, four months, and two days. Greg T. Stagg. <laughs> Greg yes. uh, says, give Stag Jr. to a person who is new to bourbon. That's funny. But that is, again, like, oh. jump. That's yeah, my that same metaphor. The, you Arbeg. don't do that. You don't jump in the deep end with. And if someone has George T. Stag the first time, I mean, I remember the first yeah. time I had, or Stag Jr., I'm sorry. The first time I had Stag Jr., I had been drinking bourbon, like, for a little while. Oh, I remember. This was New Year's, right? New Year's, uh, five, six years ago. And I decided at midnight, I mean, I had had a little bit to drink, but um, at midnight I was like, you know what, let's celebrate. I'm gonna crack this open. At that time, that was my fancy thing, um, which is fine. And took a couple of sips and it, I said, my literal quote was, it kicked me in the face and I was down, I was down for the count. Stag will buck At ya. my own house, everyone else had to leave because I was just like, mm. Out. Thank you, Greg T. Stag. And Justin says, I get sweet tea on the finish of 2019-03, which is what we're drinking right now. Am I the only one? I think that may be why I love it so much. Tried it because of your show. Thanks. Oh, uh, glad that you found it and that you love it. Thank you. Justin. Um, tea. Tea. Um, I get a little tea on the nose, but with some lemon in it. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, a lemon, a lemon tea. With? Like some sun. With? Sun tea. What's that one called? Sweet and low. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it, okay. On the nose only, not on the palate. No, not on the palate, on the finish. Sweet and low? It reminds me of my grandmother. Not my grandmother so used to drink tea with lemon and sweet and low, and that's what this reminds me of. I, I can't not, remember if she put lemon in it. Not so didn't. specific to sweet and low, but sweet oh, tea. Sweet I can get behind your, your sweet tea um, on the finish. Yeah. A sweet and low is nasty. But this doesn't taste like sweet and low. It's just the nose. That reminds me of that. Yeah. It's a very, very distinct smell when you open a packet of that. And I think I just have that like tied to nostalgia because that's what my grandmother put in her tea. Mm -hmm. um, that's what this nose reminds me of. Does not taste like sweet and low. Has a little bit of a tea flavor, mm -hmm. but does not taste like sweet and low. No. I no, would never. No sweet and low if taste. It's but mm. sweet tea on the finish, I can get behind that, yeah. And a little, little bit of honey. I mean, there's just like a little bit of, almost like a uh, hot toddy. Almost. On the finish. Hey, wait. Ken, brace yourself. He said, whoa, been binge watching your videos all day. Then a new one popped up with live. Well, now your name's being called on here. So is that like some kind of inception or I don't, not really, but. Sure it is. <laughs> sure. Hey, Ken. Is this your first live? If it is, welcome. Glad to have you. And if it's your returning live, glad to have you. <laughs> We're just glad to have We're you. We're just glad to have everyone. Yeah, yeah, we are. 382, wow, that's high. We should probably talk about something else. That's good. Um, what? It's Booker's. It is Booker's. It's Booker's. Now I'm, you know, I feel like when I, when I had them all, each individually, I felt like the 04 was my favorite. Okay. I'm still kind of banking on that. Cause like, I like hmm. this one. I don't know where it ranks so far. Biscuits, huh? I think that um, the O2 is probably last for me right now. Agreed. I don't know where this ranks with the O1. I don't know how Country Ham I mean, I haven't had them back Teresa's. to back, but my vote right now is O3 is in the lead. It's got a really nice richness to it that I don't think that the O1 had. It's, it's George's first live ever, actually. What? Yeah, there you go. We should well, welcome. give out, like, I wish I had stickers, but I don't. And I couldn't. We could throw them at the camera, but. I could, like, hold it up, but <laughs> that's that's all I got. Man, mm -hmm. this format doesn't work for some things. It just doesn't. We need a TD to be like, <laughs> pull up that right. sticker. Hey, Kyle's in the chat. Hey, Kyle. What's up? Uh, yeah, lots, the bourbon lots of blind. people. Lot, yeah, lots of, Go check out the Bourbon Blind. Lots of friends in here. Whiskey Crusaders, of course, check them out as well. And let us just say, and I, I mean no offense because I've only seen him, but thank you to Trev Wilson for moderating and being just mm -hmm. generally awesome. Mm -hmm. Do the you captain. Know, 
He lifts. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Captain Trev lift Wilson. Cap Captain Trev. Yeah. That I think is what's gonna stick. Or or brother, because you said that he looked like me. I kinda in, wanna in just picture. call him Hugh because of the captain's hat. Hugh? <laughs> I think he's the cap well, there's Captain making it happen. Oh, that's true. That could get confusing. But there's Captain and then there's the Captain. You know what? I think I'll just call him Hugh. I think he's the captain. The captain. The captain. The captain. The captain, not captain. Not captain. Yeah, there's there's a difference. Hopefully you're okay with this. <laughs> you don't have a choice. Yeah. Lots <laughs> of first time watchers. Well, that's great. Thank uh, you, cap thanks. captain. Thank you, the captain. For joining us. I think we may have lost some viewers with our <laughs> thanking and our, our, our topic. Our <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, is it shoddy or shady? Shoddy? I don't know. Uh, it's Sade? mine. Shot. No, there's no. Well, I don't know. <laughs> this is mine and my girlfriend Alexandra Caldwell's first time as well. Thank you for joining, Jim. We'll get this next one in the glass, but I will go ahead and read. Can you believe UPS delivered my box that contained a bottle of cream of Kentucky? Oh no. <laughs> You, that's illegal. Um, to the wrong address, and now it's lost? Oh, man. Overly aggravated with them. Yes. Yikes. Yes. Ooh. Do they know it's in there, though? Because I don't think that's allowed. <laughs> UPS doesn't Good care. luck. You know what? I hope that you have a holiday miracle, and uh, that makes its way back. Well, to you don't me. even know. They could, he could be in a state where that's fine. That's true. I forget. I feel like I Tucky's forget that all the time. just the weirdo. Can, that's all I've ever known, so I just um, assume it's illegal. But here is your cowbell cheers. Thank you for the super chat, sir. I hope that you get it back, and I hope that when you get it, you truly enjoy it. Oh, this one has my favorite nose. It's like go spiced cherry chocolate. Side by side. So this is beaten sugar. biscuits. Doesn't um, smell like biscuits. It's 126.1, so this one is the lowest proof. It's six years, six months, and 19 days. You know, these have all been six years. This might be the oldest. Six months? I don't know if the others were... What's the proof? 126.1. Yeah, this is the technically the oldest of 2019. At six months. Hmm. I'm going to say something really weird. The first sip I took of this, I got the tiniest hint of olive juice. All of the juice? No, no. olive, as in oh, the olive. garnish. Ah. Or if you're like me, it's just a court. <clears throat> it's just food. <laughs> um, just the slightest bit, that like salty briny. Um, no, I like I like the third. Just I like, a splash. I like O3's nose better. Oh, I don't. Oh, I really like this. It smells savory and salty and... Well, you know what, Sarah? We <sighs> haven't really even said, and not that it's a secret, but we haven't reinforced the reason, besides our love for bookers, why we're trying to find our favorite bookers of 2019. But... It's because our favorite is going to go in the contention for best, best bourbon of... of 2019. That's right. Which will be blind along with all these others. Now, if we don't agree on it, that's going to be tough. We might have to blind them and see if then maybe we come to the same. I think what we did last year was that we got it down to a top four or eight, and then we did blinds, and then we blinded. No, I'm talking about bookers. Oh. We don't agree on the oh. same bookers. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were just talking about the general No, 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 no. Like, if you end up picking four and I end up picking three. One more thing that I have to say before I forget. Okay. When I have it tipped to here. Yes. I get tiki bitters. Tiki bitters. Our favorite and you know, My bitters. favorite bitters. I'm going to go the, grab it because I haven't stood up yet. He hasn't we got a super chat here. We do. Jason, Flurry. Flurry? McFlurry. Flur, Flurry. It's McFlurry. No, I think it's Flurry. Because, like, fl I don't know. I don't know. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate for that it. Super chat. Also, your dog is cute. Yeah, that's a cute dog. Look at that pup. <laughs> mm. um, two things. One, we got new chairs. Hey. Merry Christmas from Pam. New table. And if you're a new, watch, a new viewer, that's new my chairs. mom. New um, chairs. Who did? Oh, hey. This is really <laughs> weird. But if you are a crazed fan of the show and would like to own something, 
we will we are trying to part with the table and chairs that we have done not this one. Oh, no yeah. not this one we can't ship it it so. is a butcher block table and chairs four chairs um from 1976 i noticed it on the bottom of the chairs it's today true. um and, the chairs and we will sell it it's actually a little bit of trivia the very first place that we did like our 50 um our $25 That's 50 true. bourbons under $25 That's the true. very first flight fight of existence was filmed at that table and that e that never even aired <sighs> but i have it was filmed and That's i have that true. footage but Just yes saying. it is vintage <laughs> it is sentimental so i'm like sad to let it go but we I don't, don't we really could, have any room for it. I mean, it. we could ship because it's broken down. You can take but the, the chairs. Screw the, yeah, the chairs. The chairs. The, and the, the chairs need to be, be reupholstered. The chair. I mean, the shipping would be astronomical. The shipping would be crazy. So if yeah. you're ever coming through Kentucky, we could sell well, you that table for a very reasonable price. We won't Just have saying. it for forever, but that's right. We can't um, keep it around forever. But it, it's part of it's bourbon a piece night of bourbon history. It's just like how Trev Wilson has the balloon. That used oh, to be geez. here. He has the balloon. He is the keeper of the balloon. <laughs> right, Trev? Balloon well. Balloon wrangler. Balloon wrangler. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a Patreon level. Okay, sure, Todd. Todd, you want the table? It's yours. True. Uh, True. Uh, Todd is one of our bourbon knights um, in Patreon. So, Todd, you want the table? It is yours, sir. Eric says, how are you two on receiving gift whiskeys? Um, I'm not sure what that... I'm not fully sure what you mean by that question. Like, do we like it? We like presents. Um, <laughs> well, what we how really, do we handle it? What we really love is being able to try things that aren't available in our area, like local things. Like, that's how we discovered Woodenville, right? Was it was it was sent to us. Or, sorry, it was given, it was given to us. Um... It's bourbonnightgmail.com is the best way to talk to us about how... If you want, have you could, more questions. You could get something to us. Of course, as we said before, we obey all laws. We obey all laws. We obey all laws. We obey all laws. We obey Mo all laws. Much respect for the law. Law. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Okay. Um, you were just been watching too much Christmas Vacation. <laughs> Grace... She died 30 years ago. The blessing. The blessing. <laughs> I, pledge I pledge allegiance to, to the flag. flag. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, beaten biscuits. Beaten biscuits. I'd say things, but I still get the olive juice. It's good. I like it. It's like, I don't think it's actually olive juice. I think it's that little bit of salt up front. And I really like that. Oh, um, I said two things, and then I never said the second thing. This is Tiki Bitters. <laughs> this is Tiki Bitters. Uh, this one specifically is, I think it's called Ella Makule, um Tiki Bitters. This is from Bitterman's. We actually got this one a few years ago when we were touring Bullet, but uh, they do sell it online. I know that they are often sold out of this one. This really adds another dimension to a cocktail. Yes. If you don't like, like oh. I normally do not like bitters. I don't like orange cherry bitters, uh, Angostura, eh, and depends on the cocktail. This yeah. one adds a, a level of spices. It elevates a cocktail. Not spicy, but a level of spices that really kicks it up. Uh, the description yeah. is a tropical blend of cinnamon, allspice, and island spices that is known as our... Oh, Ella Makule. Ella Makule. I don't know. I think this is. You know is, what? Maybe someone will tell me if I'm wrong. I think this is on our Amazon page, which is <gasps> hey. amazoncom slash shop slash it's bourbonite. I think, I think, you're think right. we have these on there. We put this in the tight spot. This is the secret ingredient to the tight spot. If you go back, that was our first Drink More Bourbon Cocktails episode, and we hadn't discovered this yet. So that this is the missing ingredient to the tight spot. And the new old fashioned that we love so much. That is the bitters that we use. Like, this Boing. is the bitters that we use. These are our approved bitters. John Wilhoyt says, Are y'all going to the Franklin Southern Whiskey Society on February 29th, 2020? Also on August 1st, 2020. We get two this year. You know what? We just uh, got that email, and yeah. I texted Chad, and I said, Chad, we need to get tickets. We have not gotten them yet. Um, so not officially, but we... But our plans are, yes. To go to at least, at least one at of least them. At least one. Thank you, John. Oh, thank you, John. Ooh. 
Mm-hmm. Art says, are you an expert in bird law, Chad? I love this. <laughs> Do you get it? The Always Sunny, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, you. Bird law. You, and it's got a turkey. Yeah. I love it. Um, if it's like turkey bird, then yes, I am an expert. Art, thank you. Hey, is Swan here? Hey, Swan. Are you? Swan's an expert in bird law. Yeah, because he is swan. one. Swan will be representing himself. Some people like some chocolate bitters. That's cool. Uh, what is the new old-fashioned recipe? We should do an. Do you have a minute? That. Oh, I mean, can not, I get... yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So th- I have to say, this is uh, something that I've. What's the word? Adapted. You from, have been inspired by. Inspired by uh, my friend Cindy, who also collects bourbon. I call her my big sister because she started collecting way earlier than me, but we. Like she stopped and I started, and so we kind of share like what's old and what's new when she wants to try something. We also have... something what's borrowed and what's blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. And all that stuff. She was at our wedding. Um, anyways, so it's if you know how to make simple syrup, you know that it's equal parts sugar and water. You bring the water to a boil. You add the sugar, stir it till it dissolves. That's simple syrup. So one part, like one cup water, one cup sugar. Sounds simple. I do two cups of water, two cups of sugar, because I like to make a good batch of this. It lasts for like a month in your fridge. So one cup of water, boiled, dissolve, or I'm sorry, two cups of water, boiled, dissolve, two cups of sugar, whisk it till it's all clear. And then I take two, and this is her recipe, two bags of, and I get these from Kroger. It's called orange black tea. Okay. Um, And we'll do an episode on this. Ralph's, if you're out west, I guess. Two bags of orange black tea. Steep that for about 20 minutes. That is the game changer. It gives it like this herbal orange it's true. tea flavor. It's really good. Take those out. Put it in a, in any kind of container. So the recipe is two ounces of bourbon or rye. We like Eagle Rare in it. We like Baby Saz in it. Um, so two ounces of bourbon or rye. A half ounce or just shy of. I prefer just shy of because too mm. sweet. Um, of the simple syrup, she uses Woodford uh, cherry, ba- some sort of cher- cherry barrel bitters from mm. Woodford. We like to use this tiki bitters. Ten drops is what I use. I think she uses four drops of hers, but I recommend ten drops of the tiki bitters and a Luxardo cherry and an ice ball. It is stir. It's excellent. No joke. My favorite old fashioned that I've ever had, and I've had a lot of old fashions at a lot of prestigious bars. Prestigious. Ooh, I think we've got some trolls. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Thanks, all the mods. Cheers to you, mods. Yes, Trev Wilson. Uh, oh, Jose's in here. Um, Carl Carl's Ivey, here. Swan. Thank you guys for doing. Excellent work. Thanks for doing what you do. As always. We will do an episode on that. I have been calling it Cindy's Old Fashioned, but because I adapt it from her actual recipe, we're trying to figure out the exact name, but we'll do an episode on it. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Where's your wild turkey mascot? Oh, Uh, we put him away because Thanksgiving's over. Thanksgiving's over. We want to get one next time we're at the gift shop. Actually, it's definitely should. It's right over there, Um, but... I can't reach it. <laughs> but, I can't. but look, we got mascots back here. We got the squirrel. We got the buffalo. We got all kinds of We got things. mascots out the wazoo, but thank you for that, Glenn and Kathy. Mm. You know what? That was so weird. I think I might just let it be that. Bing. Okay, that's <laughs> No orange twist, Keith says. I Take a leave. personally am okay with an orange twist. I like more that when they rim the glass with the orange twist because I think it gives more of like an aromatic experience. I don't actually get anything from the flavor. So when we're at home, I don't yeah. do an orange twist just because I don't normally keep oranges around. Whereas Luxardo cherries, I always have a jar. Um, you could totally do an orange twist and I don't think it would change it in any significant way. Um, so if that's what makes you feel like that it's an old fashioned, which is reasonable because that's what is an old fashioned. Um, yeah. You I'll should. tell you what I'm not in love with is the muddled fruit old fashions. When they pour sugar and like a maraschino cherry and a slice of orange and muddle that, I'm like, no. No. I just like, you know, an old fashioned That's is, just is, not me. An old fashioned is for a bourbon or rye drinker. It's really a cocktail that 
you really taste the bourbon or rye. And when you do all that muddling of the of the fruit, I mean, it's for somebody, and that's cool, and that's, you know, more power to you. But for us, we like the more simple approach, and that, I'm calling it the Sin Sarah until something better. Sin as in C-I-N, Cindy, Sarah. Cindy, Sarah, Sin Sarah, sensational. The Sin Sarah sensational old-fashioned is my favorite, and we will do an episode on that. It's about time we do a, a new we Drink should More do Bourbon another Cocktails one. Yes, episode. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Commerce Ozzy said, what is a troll? And I'm not sure if you're trolling us or not. They live under a bridge. <laughs> you have um, to pay the toll to get in that boy's hole. I, I can't tell if you're joking. Uh, all Carl Ivy wants for Christmas is a squirrel t-shirt. <laughs> Talked. I'm working on it. I had to do the holiday episode. It took me it's a true. long time. I don't think they'll be here before Christmas, sadly. If I've been absent from anything... It's because of that episode. Clint says, do you guys make your own eggnog? Any recommendations? No. But Chad's mom makes a delicious, she calls boiled custard. I'm wondering. Never tried it with alcohol. Well, I'm wondering if it will break the custard because mm, of the alcohol or sure. if there's a way. I bet you have to stir it constantly. Well, you have to do that anyway. Right. Or it gets lumpy. Or it gets lumpy. So I know if you add alcohol in there, it's going to double the chances of it getting lumpy. So... I will have to do some research. We have not combined it with bourbon. Or maybe you just add the bourbon after the fact and mix that up. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, um, too. My, my, grandmother's, then it cook off. my grandmother's boiled custard was always kind of lumpy. May she rest. Uh, How dare you? <laughs> it, we, it, it was just a, a fact that you... You have to stir it constantly. It was just a fact that you knew and, and had to accept, Sarah. It was just, you know, it was going to be a little bit lumpier than, than my mom's because she was... You know, more stirring it often. You really cannot leave it. You gotta stir that sucker. Yeah, it's true. Um, Michael says he suggests the IBN Old Fashioned for the name. Hey, that's actually a good idea. I mean, Sometimes yes, we, you gotta we, keep it simple. We want to pay I respect wanna... to Cindy. Mm -hmm. I think you know if we mentioned it in the episode. Sarasational. <laughs> Sarasational. Yep. Uh, we'll we'll see. Yeah. Uh, the Alton Brown eggnog recipe is awesome. Says Austin. Uh, we'll have to explore that too. Yeah, I don't. No. <laughs> Chad is savage. Yeah. <laughs> His it, lumpy. It's, I can't believe it. It's no, nothing that no, my family no, never al always said. Is everyone knew. It was just be... a thing that everyone knew, but no one said it for a reason. Well, between no, they us. Did, between you, yes, you said course, it. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, now the internet knows. <laughs> Hey, but you know what? Her base recipe was delicious. It's just an attention. Absolutely. I, again, am just giving Chad a hard time. I know. He's... And the internet is catching on. And yes, they're like, they hey, are. let's do that too. Oh, it's, no, okay. it's okay. Let's talk about bookers. We don't have a whole lot of time left here on the clock. Fine. <laughs> we won't talk about what our grandmother did wrong anymore. Because I could probably add something. I didn't to say she did anything wrong. I'm just kidding. Kevin. Um, I want to talk about last place. I think it's got to go to 2019-02. Um, hold on. One moment, please. I mean, yeah, uh, third and fourth is definitely between one and two. Let me do two Whew. first. Okay. I don't know. Now one is kind of like... Yeah, one's hot. For no reason is it like... <sighs> but that's how two was originally. Mm, I always felt that one was hotter. Now I'm all confused. This is the thing. You can't really A-B test four <sighs> bookers and still think that you have any type of faculty in your brain. Well, that's what we're trying to do right now. Who I know. Who came up with this episode? Me. That should be your first clue. A clue. A clue. That just reminds me of Blue's Clues. Or South Park. With the, the uh, yeah, the yeah, Harley the boys. Harl Hardly, Hardly, Hardly boys. boys. Yeah. One more time. Okay. I think. Oh, 
Man, that's tough. I think one is my least favorite because it is unnecessarily mm. hot and intense. I think it's... I did two first and then one and I was like... No, I think one's the worst. Then I did one first and then, then two. Then two, and then you're like, then I'm I like think no, I think two's, two's the worst. worst. Okay, so we don't love one and two. So that means I have to go with my initial trust your instincts, right? That's what we've been saying lately. Mm -hmm. And say two is the hottest for no particular reason. I'm going to put two in last place. Officially. <sighs> I don't know. But it is a hair, okay? Okay. I feel like I need a cola cleanse. Gross. Blah. Thank you, George. What? <laughs> you sound effects. Yeah. Yes, we are professionals. Don't try this at home. Actually, try it at home. It's really fun. I need I need more. But don't drive anywhere. I mean, my God. Yeah, I mean, I gotta drive to the couch. <laughs> I gotta drive? I gotta drive my ass to the couch. Brian Allred said, oh, one is just gross. Sorry. No sorry. I mean, needed. I don't know if we would call any of these Gross? I've have they you are, had they are bookers. I'm, I shouldn't say that. What? Tell me. I was gonna say have you had Del Brand? Oh <laughs> burn. <laughs> Not to anyone here to a whiskey. I'm pretty good. I'm sure anyone so. who's watched enough can guess what I said. Yeah. I mean there is a mic right there, they may have heard it. Even with whispering. I'm not gonna be quiet. Uber it to the couch? Yeah, we're gonna call an Uber. I gotta drive to the couch. Um, Austin, are you are you doing first to last? Are you doing three, four, two, one? Like three is the best, one is the worst. What's let's all agree that if you list, you're listing your favorite first, then your least favorite last. Like top, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, one is not gross. What just up, not Chris? worthy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Vincent, I agree with that. What is it, 5 a.m., 6 a.m.? Hey, no, wait, that's the 3 p.m. time. I don't know what time it is over there now. I can't do math. What up, my drop bear? <laughs> but have you been seeing the news about all the fires and the little koalas getting burned up? And they someone has to rescue them and pour water all over them because they're, they're literally burning. Oh, my God, no. It's so upsetting. <laughs> no, I didn't say colon cleanse, by the way, Jimmy Dramer. I said cola. I think it clears these, my tongue better than water. I have to be cheered up from the koalas. Brandon Knight says, yes. how do these compare to sip a while? None of them comes even close, in my opinion. Or kitchen table. <sighs> sorry, I'm sorry, Major Downer. Oh, oh we made bears. the captain sad. I'm sad. The captain. I can't think about the bears. It's so hard. We gotta do something for them. Can we donate water? Oh, to Chris, bears. So it's about to go to about to go midday over here. Fires have been bad. I'm sorry to hear that, Chris. Yeah, they have been. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we need to do, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it offline. We gotta save the bears. Save the drop bears. They're important. Okay, so we know, what. did you decide what is officially did you hit the last? Button? No, I probably should, shouldn't I? Yeah. I'm gonna stand up, everybody. I do need a hug. Look at these chairs. Look at that chair. I get really sad. I'm gonna get my cola anyway. Cola Gross. Cleanse. Colon cleanse. Ryan, no. I Colon can't. blow. Ryan says the fire wiped out 70% of their habitat and they've been listed as functionally hey. extinct. Sorry to be such a downer. Hey, 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 chat. Nothing depressing for Sarah, please. I, I've had enough alcohol to where I will cry. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, I saw an Apple commercial the other day and I started crying. And what's the other one? That uh, Apple commercial Subaru is, no, is no, joke. no joke. It is no joke. And there's joke. a Subaru commercial about an animal shelter, and that one also makes me cry every Where time. It's a it's a animal shelter, and, and they decorate it for Christmas. They turn on the Christmas lights, and then they bring out all the you can't dogs describe and cats. It. I'm going to cry. I'm not kidding you okay. right now. Okay. I am seriously this close. Back. No one wants to see it. I don't want to do it. Back. I get all red. Back to Booker's. Did you put one officially in last place? No, not okay. yet. Just one and two are, are no. bring up the rear. All right, fair enough. Justin says, my wife and I, thank you, please, thank you, save me from this conversation. Uh, my wife just fell in love with 1920. She keeps talking about it, and I can't hear you guys. What? Hello? Can anyone hear us? I can hear you. Everything seems to be hunky-dory on our end. Maybe you turned off your speakers. Mm, I don't 
don't know. But I'm glad that she loves 1920. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no one else is saying any, anything about it. So, I think we're good. <laughs> oh, um, emotional roller coaster. Loud and clear. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so three and four. They hear us. It's a fight for first in 19. It's a rumble in the bookers. I have my answer. So, I did 03 and 04. So, I think now I'll do 04 and then 03. Okay, I think I have my answer. MW says can't hear you. Oh, can't hear you over her. <laughs> As in. <laughs> over my tears? Yes. Your tears. Okay, if anyone. I assume that everyone would be saying can't <laughs> hear you. Can you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> um, Jose says, what can we expect on the upcoming daily videos? That's a great question, Jose, because they're blind. We don't, we don't know. know. We do know that we have, uh, what, a third of the way left to go to 24? That's a lot. Okay, Glenn. Glenn says I give will, me a I will. I will do that. Thank you. There you go. Thank That's you. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. And thank you, Glenn and Kathy. Now I need a koala bear mascot to sit in the background, too. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> that was nice. Thank you. Can nobody understand the words that are coming out of your mouth? <laughs> uh, Justin said, thank you for super chatting so that we would understand. Yes. Uh, couldn't hear over her. Sorry, guys. Glad that you found 1920. Glad that she found 1920. I just want everyone to have something that they enjoy. Indeed. Wow. You know what? I enjoy this Booker's. It's really hit me in the feels. Um, it's doing its job. Can you imagine a commercial about Booker's that was had? All you'd have to do is tell a story about Booker No and the passing down of generation to generation and show some clips of them talking about how, I've much, already heard... how much they love the spirit. Mm -hmm. That would just get me right there. I've already heard Fred No talk about how, I don't remember what the occasion I'm was. just but warning he, you. He went out to the statue of mm -hmm. Booker No where he's in his rocking chair and he's got the glass and he poured a little bit of Booker's into his, into his glass. Don't do it to me. <laughs> Forget about it. All right. Art. Says, I am here for this wholesome content. Thank you, oh, Art. So wholesome. We'll we'll make you cry. I'm not here for that. But what is it with commercials? Are they like just trying to outdo each other for who can make you cry the most? Yes. Because I. We well, remember Dumb you know and Dumber. Didn't make me cry, Peloton. <laughs> Peloton. <laughs> you know, at Dumb and Dumber, they they were in the hotel and they were crying, and then it shows that it's like an AT and T commercial. Like I think it, that's been going on for a while. I think it was the phone company. It's like to reach out and touch someone. Um, commercials. Yes, thank you. We just hit 401 people watching. Hey! We could probably stop talking about us crying, but yes, you're right. Maybe that's getting people. They're like, on a very special episode of It's Bourbon Night, Sarah <laughs> breaks down and cries. And they're yeah. like, I gotta watch this very special episode. Is it special, though? I don't know. Oh, 395. They, we lost them with the cry. Ah, uh, it. Well, 393. And they're gone. And they're gone. Uh, and they're and gone. it's gone. Uh, oh, well. Keith says you have to finish the story. Sorry. What was my story? The bookers got me. Was it about the bookers in the cup? Oh, that was it. I don't remember what the occasion was, but I remember seeing a video about Fred No saying that that's how he, he, he celebrated. He went out there and he put a little pour in his, in his in the statue of his of his dad's cup. And I mean, jeez. Yeah, jeez. Right? Jason says, you're showing your age with the reach out and touch someone <laughs> campaign. Uh, Scott says, a super chat, and this live escalated quickly. <laughs> That's, that is true. Let's yeah, get on a more I positive I killed a guy. Note. I had a trident. Let's, let's I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You should probably lay low for a while. Jeez. I don't know. 03 and 04 are both good. I'll say that. Mm. Who? Where did this go? Alejandro says... Uh, y'all should do a, I love the y'all, by the way. Oh. Um, y'all should do a blind of your top 2019 one versus the kitchen table. Mm. You know what I would like to do is the top of 2019 versus kitchen table and sip a while all blind. And that's what I want to know. Dang. Unfortunately, I have, we don't have all of 2016 or we could do a flight fight of the winners of 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that's true. 16, it was the last year they did all, they did six. 
and then by 17 they cut it down to four. And back then, 2015, 2016, I was like six releases of this like $55 bourbon. I don't need to get all of them. But then come 2017, I was like, must have them all. Must get them and all. And ever since then, I have gotten every single one. But back when I was six, and the channel was either not started yet or it had just started, <laughs> it just wasn't in the cards, you know? Actually, mine go back to 2015 as far as like buying them. Now, I, we do have some others that are younger, thanks to some awesome people like yes. Perry and Swan. Um, and, and others that are even back into the 90s. Meow, meow. So, <laughs> love to have them all. Maybe one day if I ever get rich, that'd be cool. Hey, oh, Chris. Chris says we'll bring you a koala bear mascot for you next year. Thank oh, you. Oh, man. You guys are the best. A hearty cowbell cheers to you, sir. Um... Someone said, oh, Vincent said, Sarah, sip 03, embrace the sweetness. I have my, I have my vote. Mm, four is really good. The beaten biscuits. And at this point. I got it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm here. I just got to say it. It can be my biscuits. <laughs> and how many people did we lose? Oh, we gained people from that. <laughs> people don't, calling people. Don't they're like, it. guess what she just said. You gotta, you gotta go uh, check this out. Sarah wouldn't say that. No. Sarah would no. say that. No. And she did, and I did. Uh, with the huh. Sarah with a huh. huh. All right, I've got my order. I am so close. Four is is really tasting good now. Everybody, it's really tasting good. Yeah, how does it stand with water or ice? Um, Eric asks. I don't think we have the mental capacity to do that tonight. Typically, historically, Booker's does stand up well to a little bit of water, a little bit of ice. Or, you know, a big, or a big, a big ice. block of ice. Yeah. Getting nutty on IBN. Thank you, Jose. Our Nutty Squad team leader, he is often first to the comment section on a lot of those advent calendars he has been that's true getting that and he has a sick mustache <laughs> it's really awesome it I'm, really is i'm jealous envious of the twirl and he's doing great things for texas whiskey have you all seen the uh do you even know who he is <laughs> <laughs> have you seen our um uh the whiskey vault bastards ball recap video because both Carl, the legend Ivy, and Jose um, are kind of stars of it. I'm a star. <laughs> it was Carl's birthday. Oh, what did I say I wanted to call Jose? Jose Extra Extravaganza? Oh, yeah. Because of that Reply All podcast? But then I was like, that's probably not. Yeah, you can't do that. It's, already, it's already taken. It's already taken. But. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, okay. What's your order? I want to know. We need to tell them. And then I'm going to go drive to the couch. Call an Uber. Man, I will say this. I'll just go on the record by saying I require a blind flight to officially know. I think... I will pick one, but with the asterisk... Asterisk. I, I, thank you. <laughs> asterisk that I would need a blind to truly know. It's that down to the wire. Yeah. I agree. I would need a blind to be confident in my answer, like extremely confident, but I, I have an answer. I would need to also reset and be completely back to back to one. Back to one. <laughs> but for now, what is your answer? What say you? They want to know. You pulling Lord of the Rings quotes out on me? Order. They're demanding. Order. <laughs> Order in the house. Order. Order in the house. We should have a gavel for that. Order. <laughs> Anytime Chad's taking too long, I'll bang the gavel. <laughs> mm. Okay. I have my order. Okay. Do you want to go from fourth to first? Do you have a fourth? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> In fourth place, for me, is... O2. Okay. For you? O1. O1. 
Well, third place for me, 01. For you? So we're 02. 02. So we're... That's not really important. No, it's not really important. <laughs> the important thing is between third and fourth place. Okay? Okay. Again, this is the 2019-03. Can you all see that? Yeah. This is the 2019-04. This is country Booker's Country Ham. This is Beton Biscuits. I think it's how it's pronounced. Bean Biscuit. Yeah. Biscuits. Whatever. Okay, we're going to go three, two, one, go. And we're going to put our hand over the number one. Okay. All right. In 2019... Our favorite bookers is three, two, one, go. The O4. The O4. Beaten biscuits. Beaten biscuits. It was a journey. I really thought I was gonna be O3, and I could have been, but when I started A B testing, and I feel like this beaten biscuits has benefited from being opened. We beaten opened biscuits benefited from better better blind taste I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways. Benediction. Uh, we didn't want to uncork any of these tonight. We wanted all of them to have been opened. So we opened this one about a week ago. Yeah. And I do think it has benefited. The from Beaten Biscuits has benefited from the brief... I can't think of another no, B word. No, he can't. Time mm -hmm. <laughs> that has been opened. And once you A-B test them, I feel like this one... So... The 126.1, the lowest proof, but the oldest age. David says it's three, no. y'all are drunk. Not the lowest proof. Beaten biscuits benefits from breathing. From breathing. There you there go. You go. Not the lowest proof, I'm sorry. The O3 is actually lower. Yeah. Uh, 126.1, the oldest in age though, by like a month or something. Yeah, I gotta go with the O4. 2019 O4 Beaten Biscuits continues our last of the year tradition being either the O3 or the O4. We already knew that though, as being the one to go. I'm just so glad that it hit our market in time earlier than it normally does. Because yeah. normally we're like doing the 20, best of 2019. And it comes in like. And we're like, we gotta drive an hour just and to a get half this, out of town to find it. Like three days before the end of the. Whatever, just to mix luckily, it in. Luckily, it uh, came in. I heard last year the reason why the O3 was sticking around is because they had a lot of it. They, that's what I heard, too. Yeah. So, yeah, the, uh, the O4. You know what we thought might happen on this show? Was we might also uncork the um, Little Book O3. <laughs> Can you yeah. imagine? What a joke. No, what we're not doing that. a joke. No. Next week? Maybe. Top of the show. We'll see. How about it? A little book Well, maybe three, next week. Home? Maybe next week we should continue and give the people what they want, which is what if, because we don't have a 2016, what if we take the 04 and the 03? Because I see a lot of people saying, nope, you're wrong. It's the 03. <laughs> what if we do a blind flight with online kitchen table. with kitchen table and sip a while and these two? Would you guys feel okay about that? How I would you feel? I think they would feel okay I think they feel that. okay about it. Are you okay with two Booker-centric shows in a row? I think they're fine. Also, uh, what else are we going to do next week? <laughs> well, you never know. Try until, to like, take the over the before. world, but yeah. other than that. We're always like... Yes. Huh. Yes. Okay, do it. Yep. Okay. Cool. You got it. Let's oh, well, do it. that's a good way to get Chaz and Sarah with an H, is to do... Do Booker's flights. Booker's <laughs> flights. Yeah. Yeah. How? Yep. They want it. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. let's do it then. We'll do it then. All right, but don't until be, then. Don't even worry about it. We'll do it. Till then, I think that wraps up uh, the show. I think it does. Cool. Um, hey, we know we had a lot of first time viewers here in the chat, but if you have not subscribed, we and, would like. and you're watching the replay, then you can click right up here to do that, to subscribe to the channel. There's also suggestions of videos you can watch down here. We hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okie dokie. Until next time. When we do more bookers. Drink more bookers. That's what I thought he was going to say. Ha.